welcome back. This is Bosco with an episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I'm joined, as always, by Vash, Novin, and Kyra today. We are taking on the hard form of Lavos. And for this, I have need to do some level grinding. And by some, I mean a ton. Everybody is now up to level 99. I'll be going over stats and all that kind of stuff in the next video, but uh, just for uh, posterity's sake, here's what uh, my party looks like at level 99. I have uh, Vash on the safe helm, Nova armor and gold stud. Nova's on the vigil hat, moon armor and silver stud. Kyra is on the Vigil Hat, Prism Dress, and Silver Stud. Uh, Novin's on the Brave Sword, uh, because we don't have the Powered Up Masamune, and we only have the Masamune version 1. I'm not exactly sure the official title of it, but we don't have it powered up, so the Brave Sword is by far better. And we're not going to be using physical attacks anyway, so what's the point? Okay. We are ready to take on what is, in my opinion, and probably just standard... Uh, descriptions. Uh, the second hardest fight in the game. Uh, we've all seen this before, so I'm gonna kind of rush through it a little bit, but this is the hard version of Lavos. Uh, there's many people that say you need to be level 70 for this, 75. I've heard as high as 80. Uh, I just figured I'd get all my level grinding out of the way at once uh, and not do uh, two batches. So, got all the level grinding done. Except for, uh, except for Luke. Still need to do some grinding for him, unfortunately. Uh, but I got everybody else up uh, to, uh, to max. And to be honest, the, the stack gains that you get as you go further up kind of dwindle down. As you could see, uh, some of uh, the stats were maxed out. Uh, things like magic defense, uh, stamina, uh, magic on Kyra, I believe it was maxed out. Power was maxed out. Uh, those came around 60, 60 to 65, so really getting higher levels doesn't necessarily overpower you in this game as it does in other games, but what would one of my Let's Plays be without a quintessential overpowered fight? And I guess this would be it, since I wasn't overpowered for much of anything else in this game. But we're up against Lavos. And, uh, yes, your HP and MP is pretty much, um, set at 999 and 99, no matter who you have. So we're gonna go for Luminaire, we're gonna go for, where is it, Heal, uh, because he starts off with Destruction Range from the Heavens, which is probably his strongest attack. Uh, it's been a while since I've taken on this form of Lavos, uh, but I do believe that is the strongest attack that he has. I don't have uh, Limea here, so I, I won't be able to do uh, the haste strategy that I want to, to be honest with you, because it, it helps make the fight go a little bit faster. And I tend to, to get um, more turns off, as you might imagine. Uh, but we're going to go for flares, and uh, once... Once I feel comfortable, which is probably going to be next turn, we're probably going to be going for frog flares as well. But that does a ton of damage on Lavos, as you might expect, once you have maxed out everything. 294. I feel comfortable going for a frog flare now. I have to wait for Kyra's turn, though. She is pretty slow, but her magic stat more than makes up for that, I think. That could just be me, though. Could always just be me. Damn you, destruction. <laughs> Why do you always rain from the heavens? Now I do need to heal. Hooray. So we're just going to go for a regular flare again. And this is what I've been cutting out from the other fights. It's not particularly tough, these fights. Uh, just more ma making sure you, you keep a couple th things straight. And keep on using your most powerful magic attacks. Uh, because magic by far is more powerful than any physical attack that you can bust out. Um, I've, I've tried using physical attacks. I tried to bring Jojo into, uh, into some tough fights. It just does not work out most of the time, especially against Lavos. Um, there are some times when she works out, but uh, most of the time it's just better to bring another caster along with you, unfortunately, because she's got no magic. She was born before magic existed, or whatever their reasoning was again. 
Damn. <laughs> I need to use another heal. I want to show off Frog Flare. Damn it. Uh, now, once again, uh, feel free to use uh, Mega Elixirs in this fight if you plan on winning. If you plan on losing this fight, don't use any items for anything. Ever. Just don't do it. Damn. Just keeps on spamming destruction. It is definitely his most powerful attack. Die, you damn Lavos. Flare is definitely more powerful, as you can see. Uh, that's because Kyra's magic stat is so much higher uh, than Vash's. Once again, I'll go over all that kind of stuff uh, probably in the next video. I think I have it planned out. But, um, Luminaire by far is the more powerful um, magic ability. Just a matter of uh, the person that's using it. And unfortunately, uh, my strongest magic user is not Vash. So, we will uh, we'll see Luminaire get higher up later on. I have been saving all my tabs for the next fight, the hardest fight. Which I did give a teaser of before. It is Speccio. Ugh, God. If I was Speccio. 294. For some reason, I've always found that Lavos likes to hit Vash. For whatever reason. He likes to hit Vash more often than anybody else. I, I've never understood why. Uh, it doesn't matter where I put him. Because <laughs> I, I, I have had multiple setups. Uh, and, and Lavos tends to, to go for, for Vash for whatever reason. Maybe that's just uh, my experience and that there's no actual programming for that. But it feels like there is. Definitely feels that way. Um, once again, if I did have more gold studs, I should probably farm those. Uh, just go through the game a couple times just to get three uh, gold studs. I would have those on it instead of uh, the silver studs. But there you go. That's the fight with Lavos, beating the hard version. And then, of course, this opens up the uh, the core. Can it be over? It is over. I wish it were over. Guess we have no choice but to go inside. This is definitely the hard version. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't mm, end the game straight away. You still have to land inside. No save point in this iteration of Lavos either. Yes, you are okay. This is creepy. It's worse than Magus's place. Of course it is. Of course it is. But that's going to do it because we've already seen this ending. So I'll just see you guys in the next part. And I'm back and I've done all the level grinding that I require in this game. Everybody is now max level, which means it's time for character comparisons. I'm going to be taking this opportunity to com kind of compare uh, max stats because of the tabs in the game. Uh, I want you to see where the characters end up without tabs so that you can try to distribute tabs a little bit more evenly than maybe you would have without knowing uh, how they are at the max level. Uh, so this is kind of important if you want to skip it. I fully understand. Uh, next video we will be taking on the toughest enemy in the game. God, that's going to be a tough fight. But for right now, we have a look at Vash. He has the rainbow sword on. I've given everybody uh, the their ultimate weapon, Eon equipment, uh, helm and suit, and then whatever accessory I could find that doesn't raise their stats. That Just so that we could have an even comparison, Max. Uh, okay, Vash has max uh, power, stamina, and magic defense. Everybody, in fact, has max magic defense, so that is nothing special for him. Power and stamina, most people have, but not everybody. Uh, that max stamina is going to give him the highest physical defense, which is 207 with the Eon equipment. Uh, in terms of his speed, it's actually pretty high. He's got one of the higher speeds in the game, tied for second place, actually. But his hit percentage, surprisingly low. Tied for worst in the game, but at this point you're not really going to be using uh, physical physical attacks really ever. Uh, his magic is probably the most surprising thing about Vash. His magic is very low. Second worst in the game. 46. But he makes up for that with the most powerful spell in the game, which is Luminaire. Uh, I believe it is the most powerful in the game. So he might even though he has lower magic, 
abilities, I guess you could say, he will be probably out uh, damaging everybody else in terms of magic with Illuminaire. Except, of course, when it comes to Kyra, because she's got mass magic, and of course, she has Flare, which is probably very close to Luminaire in terms of damage. Uh, of course, her power and hit are very, very low, and the Wonder Shot makes it pretty much impossible for her to be used as a physical attacker. She can bust out 3,000, 4,000 damage with the Wonder Shot, but it's so random that it can also inflict single digit damage, zero damage with the Wonder Shot. It's very random, and that makes it very frustrating to try to rely on that, so I hardly ever use her for a physical attack. You use her for magic, that's what she's got maxed. Uh, but she does have the slowest speed in the game. Speed of six. That's half the speed of Vash. He could get two turns off while Kyra just gets one. That is ridiculously slow. Her stamina is not maxed. Uh, she's got the second worst stamina in the game. So she is going to be weak against physical attacks. So if you've got an enemy that primarily uses physical attacks, you're going to want to keep her out of the fight. Uh, but of course she does have the max magic defense, just like everybody else, else. So she shouldn't be taking more damage that way. Next up we've got Lamia. Uh, she's on the Valkyrie, which gives her, to be honest, the worst attack in the game physically. Uh, she's not designed to be striking people with her crossbow. Uh, but she does have a very high magic stat. Um, there's only two people with max magic, uh, Kyra being one of them, so Lamia takes third place in that. Her stamina, however, is the lowest in the game. Uh, so, once again, physical attacker, you want to keep her out of there. Uh, in terms of speed, she's only faster than Kyra. Everybody else is faster. So, once again, high magic, but she doesn't really have a physical, uh, a magic attack that can utilize that very well. So, you know, maybe in the later stuff, later, uh, later fights she's not as useful as you might imagine uh, once you get haste and all that kind of stuff off she really starts running out of things to do uh, next up is Novin he's on the powered up Masamune level 2 Masamune I think it's officially called which gives him 243 attack which is actually the third highest in the game which is pretty damn good, especially if you equip that with a hero medal so that you can get a higher chance of criticals, but once again, physical attack's not very useful in this game in terms of hit percentage, how often he hits with that, it's low. Again, apparently, uh, Chrono Trigger believes that swords are pretty hard to hit with in this game. In terms of magic, he's actually ranked fourth. There's a huge gap between the top three magic users and everybody else. Uh, Novin is the highest of the second tier magic users uh, with a magic of 56 and a speed of, of 11 is respectable. It's actually right around the middle. It's fifth um, in the game so it's respectable. It's, it's not bad. Of course we can always increase that thanks to speed tabs and then we could also increase his magic uh, for frog flare and all that kind of stuff. Uh, frog flare, frog squash those are very powerful, very powerful indeed. Next up we have Bloon, he's on the Terra Arm, which is technically his his highest attacking item. You could also equip him with the Crisis Arm, uh, which can do more damage when he's on very, very low HP. Uh, which gives him an attack of 215, the Terra Arm does, which is pretty high actually. It's Well, it's actually ranked 5th. So, no. Sorry. He's not that great of a physical attacker. Uh, his hit percentage, however, is average. So, I mean, you've got lower power, mid hit. Once again, physical, not that important anyway, though. In terms of speed, he's actually fast. Uh, he's tied for second with a 12 speed, just as fast as Vash. Uh, once you, of course, beat Atropos XR, otherwise he's got a speed of 9, and that's that's not very good. Uh, in terms of magic, he's got a 53 magic stat, just putting him just below uh, Novin. So, um, decent, not great. 
Uh, he does have max stamina, though. Everybody but the two mages, the two girls up here, uh, have max stamina. Uh, so, average character, I would say, at the end of the game. He does have a high magic attack ability, uh, the the shock, um, shock tech, but it doesn't work that great, to be honest with you. Uh, I would much rather try to focus on uh, Vash using Luminaire than Blue and Blue using, using Shock at this level, even though he'll probably save a little bit of MP. As you can see, everybody has 999 HP, uh, 99 MP. Uh, you get that really early on in the game, probably around level 70 is the latest that that'll happen. Next up is Jojo. She's actually got the Bronze Fist, which is a weapon you do not find. You uh, you obtain it by leveling her up. It's around level 40, 94 or 95. Uh, the regular fist changes to the Bronze Fist. Not only does this give her uh, max attack 255, uh, highest in the game, but it also gives her the ability, whenever she gets a critical, uh, to get a chance to do max damage of 9,999. However, I find that's really rare. It's not every critical from what I can see, so I'm not a big fan of trying to use her just to abuse uh, the chance of getting max damage. Uh, she's the only person that I can see that can do max damage, um, but I, I, I wouldn't really see her using... Uh, that very often trying to go for the max damage. In terms of magic, she has the worst magic in the game with 32. Uh, of course, she doesn't have technically magic. Uh, she uses other techs in order to get uh, damage done, and even those are, aren't going to be very high because she has such low magic. Uh, she does have the highest speed in the game, though. Also the highest evasion. So if you're up against a physical uh, fighter, JoJo is your best shot. However, there aren't very many of those in the game. Last but not least, we do have Luke. Who is, do you see all those stars over there? He is the best character in the game. There's, there's no doubt about that. Uh, with max power, max magic, max stamina, and max magic defense. Of course, everybody does have that. He, he easily becomes the best character in the game. Even his hit percentage is ridiculously high. It's the highest hit percentage in the game. His speed tied for second. Evasion tied, er, not tied, just plain second in terms of attack. He's got, well, an average attack physically, but once again, physical doesn't really matter. And on top of that, he's got some of the best techs in the game, even though he can't use triple dual techs. He can use a couple triple techs, but the dual techs are pretty much out for Luke. Uh, to be honest, you won't be using those very often uh, later on in the game. Uh, you'll try to focus on the uh, single techs and then an occasional dual tech here and there. But by far the best character in the game. Luke. So, that is what you can look forward to if you can get up to level 99. Uh, so, just for the record, don't use any magic tabs or power tabs on Luke <laughs> ever. Just he, He'll get max eventually, and that's something that you don't always think of. You always kind of think, well, I need to put a power tab into my power character, uh, my physical attacking character. That is not true in this game, because if you go up to the higher levels, they'll have max, and that tab will be wasted. Uh, so, once again, max power, max magic on Luke, max power on Jojo. Don't give her any power tabs. Bloon, no power tabs. The only two people that you really should be giving power tabs to are Limea and Kyra. And it's not even useful for them. Power tabs are pretty much useless in this game once you get to a certain level. Unfortunately, magic tabs, on the other hand, are very good. Don't give any to Kyra. Don't give any to Luke. Everybody else can benefit from them, but Lamia, you're going to want to hold back on them because she gets very close on her own, only up to a max of three magic tabs on her, and then you start wasting them, to be honest with you. Speed, though, you can give to everybody. Nobody has max speed. There's no such thing. The highest speed is 13. So feel free to give those to whoever you want. With all that done, I am finally ready 
to take on the toughest enemy in the game. And I will do so next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Crow Trigger. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined by my max party of everybody. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.